Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retrolectors. And today we're doing a top five Dreamcast arcade fighters. When it comes to arcade games being ported on a certain system, not many of them do a very spot on job unless it came out on the Dreamcast. Here are five games that knocked it out of the park when it came to porting it over to the Dreamcast. Stay tuned. Virtual Fighter 3TB. Developed by Sega AM2, released October 18th, 1999 and sold 96,000 units. Virtual Fighter 3TB is an arcade port of the same name minus TB, which means Team Battle. Originally slated to be the Sega Saturn game, but later cancelled, Virtual Fighter became a Dreamcast exclusive. Characters can be moved around on 3D environment, but always stay locked to the opponent with the ability to sidestep. Unveiled in 1996, Virtual Fighter 3 stole this Tokyo AOU show mainly due to one of its metallic characters, Doral. Doral's character build was so impressive that many solely focused on Doral's metal frame being able to reflect in-game environments. Did you know that Doral was also the code name of the up and coming unannounced Sega Dreamcast? Techromancer. Developed by Capcom, released March 31st, 2000 and sold 18,000 units. Techromancer is a unique 3D arcade fighter that has you controlling a mech on a plane that is riddled with buildings and can be destroyed, unveiling power-ups. Techromancer features two game modes, story mode, where each mech has its own story and told in a Japanese anime style. The other game mode is hero challenge mode, where you can unlock hidden characters and movies by purchasing through VMU minigames. All the major video game news outlets gave Techromancer glowing praises. Street Fighter Third Strike, developed by Capcom, another one on this list, released October 4th, 2000 and sold 60,000 units. Street Fighter Third Strike is the third installment to the Street Fighter 3 series. First being Street Fighter 3 and followed up by Street Fighter 3 Double Impact. Street Fighter Third Strike added a roster of five extra characters on top of a standard 15 characters from the first two games. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Developed by Capcom, released October 31st, 1999, just missing the Dreamcast launch in North America, sold 25,000 units. JoJo Bizarre Adventure was originally an arcade game in 1999 and later ported to the PlayStation and Dreamcast that same year. JoJo's gameplay is heavily inspired by other Capcom games, where his graphics and story is inspired by Japanese manga, Stardust Crusaders. An interesting feature grants almost all characters the ability to summon a spiritual guardian to help out in battle. Marvel vs. Capcom One of the most well-known games on the list, developed by Capcom, released September 30th, 1999, and sold 213,000 units. Also just missing the Dreamcast North America launch date, Marvel vs. Capcom is a tag team battle fighter that pits characters from both Marvel and Capcom franchises. Also part of the PS1, tag battles were removed due to the PlayStation 1's console limitations. Marvel vs. Capcom features five game modes, training, survival, cross fever, versus, and arcade. With the amount of characters that are in Marvel vs. Capcom, you can make any variation of any Capcom or Marvel crossover you want. And there you have it. Five Dreamcast arcade fighters that got ported to the console and are outstanding when it comes to fighting game series. Kicking it off with a well-known franchise like Virtual Fighter and ending off with one of the best crossovers in any fighting game ever. The Dreamcast has you covered when it comes to any sort of arcade fighter on the Dreamcast. What's your favorite Dreamcast arcade fighter? Or what's your favorite game in arcades that you spent countless time on? I know I spent a lot of time on Street Fighter 2 and loved every minute of it. Please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.